Um, I think the reason that Dad deserves the car and should have it is that he's driven a white oh no <laughs> Chevy for too long, much too long, and his Firebird it turned pink after going through the car wash. So who wants that? So he deserves a brand spanking new car, dream car, dream color. That's why. I believe Dad deserves this car because he always put our needs in front of his own. And the white 09 Chevy four-wheel drive two-tone is getting a little rough. Um, he deserves it because he got it. It's a gift. So honestly, I'm thinking you definitely need a car so you'll get out of the house more. <laughs> Go get ice cream with Ma. Go meet the wise guy. Nanny, nanny. You know how many cruises you could cruise in one car? And also, <laughs> get out of the freaking house. <laughs> um, the reason for this car is, well, there's several reasons, but you made sure we never went without as children as far as what we could do. And um, you always told us you'd dream us boys when we were hunting at Ainsley, so that car being in the barn. And we just wanted to make your dream come true because you helped all of us accomplish our dreams. So thank you for that. And reason number two, you never let us walk around with jam toes. So there is that as well. I think he deserves this car because for years he drove crap, <laughs> crap all the way to work and back and provides for us, you know what I mean, two gallons of milk a day and two boxes of cereal and put a quarter of, two quarts of oil in the car. And he deserves this car because he's the best dad I've ever asked for. Dad, you've driven beaters for years and you never complained about it. You always said the car that got you to work was a good car. You would talk about getting a brand new car one day, and when that day finally came, you got a minivan. And you got a minivan so you could fit Ezra's base in it, so you could take the family on vacation. So you finally got your brand new car, but it was really for the family. We love you. You're a great dad. You deserve this car because, I mean, it was mom and I, and you took me in as like one of your own kids. You worked hard, you did the best that you could. It's great now for funny stories later on, but you know, I appreciate that. Uh, while you might not have taught me many lessons on how to work on my cars, you did teach me the importance of several things. You know, always chuck the car when you jack it up. Uh, you taught me about leverage and how to use big pipes to break stuff free. Uh, the importance of making sure that the uh, batteries are unhooked when working on the alternator. Um, you never want to change oil when it's car's hot. So, you know, those are a few things that I learned about working on cars from you, whether you knew it or not. Um, you know, the, the car fits you perfect. It's got a great attitude, just like yours. Uh, it's funny. You're funny. Um, so I, I really hope you appreciate the car and enjoy it. Thanks for being uh, a dad and uh, love you. Happy birthday. I have to butt in here for just a second. As I'm putting this together, and I'm listening to your children talk like that about you, I'm just thinking what an honor it is as a father to have your children praise you like that. I am honored to know you. I am proud of you. You are one of my role models. Thank you for inviting me into your family, and please keep up the good work. You truly, truly deserve this car. What's that? Okay. Is that for me? <laughs> and your reaction? Hook! Hook, I told you having all these kids would pay off one day. Look at it. His reaction? Oh, well, I don't know. Probably. Thumb! Give me a thumb! Oh my gosh! He, he, he even got the right color blue! Um, I think his reaction is gonna be... What? The seats? This thing's got leather back seats? No way. <laughs> Reaction? I honestly don't know. Probably what Snoop says. You're gonna get your pants. Alright. Um, 
I think Dad's gonna go. Oh, hot! Got a kid doing my arm. He's gonna keep on saying no way. He's gonna do. He's gonna do the arms. He's gonna. He's not gonna know what to say or do. Burr, no. He's gonna be speechless, but a little bit of talk going on. You know, it's gonna be a lot for him. What are you guys doing? What are you doing? Something weird's going on here. Oh my God. Oh my God. Something about this six. I wanted a 65 my whole. Oh my gosh. I kind of gave up on it. Yeah, pull it outside. Let's go outside. There's back poop in here. Let's go outside. We'll go with that outside. There's back poop. There's no back poop. Holy poop, Batman. Oh my god, Mr. Doc. How are you, buddy? How are you? Come on. The right year, the right color, the two doors, that's exactly what I wanted. I mean, everything. I mean, everything. <laughs> 